Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the redox reactions of arenes and particularly the synthesis of phenol from benzene. Uh, phenol is actually made not from benzene directly, but from cumene. Cumene itself is synthesized from benzene by the reaction of benzene and propene in the presence of phosphoric acid. Uh, that reaction is an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, which is not the focus of this video. Uh, so maybe in a later video, I'll uh, show what's going on there. Cumene is then oxidized by oxygen in air uh, into a hydroperoxide, which is hydrolyzed uh, using uh, acidic water. And um, phenol is one of the products of that, but the major byproduct of that reaction is acetone. And this turns out to also not, to not just be the uh, commercial source of phenol, but also the commercial source of acetone. 80 some percent of the world's acetone is made by this process. And, and so the, the production of and cost of acetone are actually tied to the production of and cost of phenol. <clears throat> How does this uh, conversion of cumene to phenol work? Well, uh, as, as I mentioned, it's an oxidation reaction with oxygen and oxygen is a diradical. Uh, so this is actually a radical reaction where uh, oxygen as a radical will abstract one of the hydrogen atoms uh, well, this hydrogen atom specifically from cumene to make this cumene radical. And the other product of that reaction is the hydroperoxide radical, so HO2 radical. Now, there are two separate sort of mechanisms here that one might uh, show. You could show a uh, Dr. Norris doesn't. Yep. Oh, that looks good. I like my arrows to go a certain way. You could just show a simple uh, recombination here. Where the, the hydroperoxide radical and the cumene radical get together. To, to form the, the hydroperoxide that is needed for the next step. Uh, but there is also a propagation-based mechanism that is probably more likely given that this is a whole radical process. Um, and so the idea is instead of reacting with the hydroperoxide radical, which is not as common as oxygen itself, the initial reaction is with another molecule of oxygen to form the, the hydroperoxide radical, which then reacts with another molecule of cumene to form the hydrogen hydroperoxide or to form the cumene hydroperoxide. and uh, another molecule of cumene radical. Uh, either way, both of these are, are perfect valid mechanisms. And, and at the end of the day, the, the recombination is probably a, a pretty good termination step for the, the propagation-based mechanism. <clears throat> Once this oxidation reaction is done, hydroperoxide, I want the hydroperoxide over here, undergoes hydrolysis and aqueous acid to form acetone and phenol. Uh, and the mechanism for that is uh, kind of interesting. Uh, it starts with, you know what, let's, Let me show my, my hydronium ion slightly differently. It starts with um, proton transfer to the hydronium or to the hydroperoxide to that oxygen at the end of the chain. And I am going to redraw this just a, a little bit because I want to move something. down closer to the aromatic ring. 
And then the next step of this mechanism is a pretty interesting rearrangement where the aromatic ring hops over to the phenol oxygen. Uh, well, there's a hopping mechanism and a walking mechanism. So it depends on just exactly how many bond break and bond forming steps there are here. Uh, but this rearrangement mechanism is, is what's occurring. The aromatic ring is moving over and taking its sigma bond with it and expelling a molecule of water. And it's leaving behind this carbocation, which is resonance stabilized, but, but still a carbocation. And so now we have this water molecule that was expelled in the last step can attack here. And we've got uh, this protonated intermediate. Now, <clears throat> this protonated intermediate is actually a protonated uh, hemiacetal, and you're going to, to learn that the reactions of these things are actually have quite a few proton transfer steps out there. Uh, and just to, for the sake of not leaving anybody behind, I am going to draw all of them. So just hold on tight. Um, I need this extra arrow. Here we go. So first we have water because it's all there is in the reaction. Remove this extra proton on this oxygen. Next step involves a proton transfer to the other oxygen in the hemiacetal. So let's go, go grab something for that. And we have a uh, different protonated species, and I'm going to, uh, like I'm, looks like I'm trying to run out of room here, but, but don't worry, we're, we're nearly done. Let me actually go up here and drag everything. Need my area. Get rid of some, some things. So I'm going to get rid of the, the propagation uh, steps in the radical process so that I can drag my hydrolysis reaction up a little bit and give me room to, to finish. Here we go. And now we have this molecule here with the protonated, with another protonated oxygen. That oxygen is a, is a good leaving group. Uh, and so this molecule falls apart with that leaving group leaving. And that leaving group, uh, in fact, is phenol. And uh, I don't have enough room, so move this. I'm going to move this down uh, to the next line. And then the other half is acetone with an extra proton hanging out on it. And so finally, we can have water come along and remove that extra proton. Water is a stronger base than acetone, so reaction behaves itself pretty well. Finally, after what seems like an unnecessarily large number of proton transfer steps, we have a uh, hydrolysis of uh, the hydro the cumene hydroperoxide to phenol and acetone. Uh, so one, uh, two, three, four proton transfer steps. Uh, and, and as you study the, the chemistry of carbonyl compounds, you realize that uh, having two proton transfer steps for sort of every other key reaction step is pretty common in their mechanisms. So this uh, wraps up the synthesis of phenol. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the uh, oxidation of phenol. Thank you for watching.